Hey guys, it's me, Mario, and the me, Luigi. And today, this is our Q&A answer videos. Of course, we are going to be answering every single Q&A question that was in the comment section below on the Q&A announcement. So I hope you guys enjoy. Yeah, but sadly, there's not that many questions, but we actually got some great questions from everyone. So we will also give you a shout out to everyone who answered these, who actually asked these questions. So please enjoy. Alright, now let's get on to our first question. Okay guys, our first question comes from... I'm sorry if I pronounce it wrong, but I think it's called Kato's or Kato's World. I'm sorry if I pronounce it wrong. And he asks... Uh, actually he says, awesome, congrats on 240. Thanks man. And then he asks, where did you buy that Goku plush? That is a great question because um, frankly, it's actually pretty that simple. So, this Goku is actually really high quality. I actually got it for $20 free shipping on Amazon. And, um, so yeah. <laughs> That's, um, pretty surprising. I mean, it's still on there, but, like, it actually ran out of stock before Christmas, so I got the last one. But, um, last time I checked, I also saw it's still selling, so if you want the link to that, I'll give you the link. So, yeah, this is where I bought it. Alright. April Horn says, congrats on 240 subscription. Thank you. And she asks first, when can we expect another series? You can definitely expect another series coming this spring. If you guys saw my Plus Rewind video, I put like a little um, spoiled sneak peek um, back on there. It said like, I'm coming for you Goku. I don't have like plans for it, but I actually plan um, putting another Dragon Ball character as the antagonist, spoiler alert. So yeah. And then her next question is, is there a possibility for more new characters soon? You can definitely expect another possibility. I plan on getting more non-Mario characters to make the channel better, but so far I'm actually working on it. Because there's many characters I want to add to the channel, but... Um, if you see there, I already have too much main characters of the channel, so um, I'll figure something out, but yes, you can definitely expect more characters coming soon. Okay, Ethan Ashley Cool Master Fan 100 asks a question to Yoshi. Alright, Ethan. Alright, what is my question? Your question is, question for Yoshi. How does it feel to win Fall Guys? Well, it's pretty good to feel like that, but if you know... But there was someone scare me out of it, and I won absolutely nothing. I almost died, and I didn't get anything out of it. Uh, I wonder who could that be. <sighs> yeah, it feels great. But if I ever get scammed once again, I'm gonna kill it. Okay, gamer under dash kid under dash 490 asks the question to Waddle do. <sighs> okay, what's my question? Your question is. Are you gonna do better at Among Us? Um. Uh. Um. Okay, you can't expect me to win every game. I know I'm bad at it, but I I'm pretty sure I can win more games in the future. Just please don't get mad at me. Uh, I'm only being there for three times. What do you expect? Oh. All right. Five Nights at Freddy's Sonic Plush videos ask, how many plushies do you have? Oh yeah, I love your videos. Thanks, man. And how many plushes do I have? Um... I, um... I have a lot. Uh, I would love to do a plush collection video to show you all of them I have, but... Sadly, my plush collection keeps growing. It's gonna grow further this year, so... I don't know when I'll be finally able to do it. Maybe if I just stop getting plushes for my channel, I would make a plush collection video. But I frankly am buying way too many. Like, if I would say I probably have like hundreds of plushes right now, it's probably filling my bucket right now. So yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe until like next year, I'll do a plush collection video to show you guys. Um, on how much my plush collection grow ever since I started my channel. So yeah, um, anyways, uh, let's get on to the next question. 
All right, Jacob Productions. I hope I didn't spell it wrong. And he has three questions, and the first one's for Woody. <laughs> All right, what's my question? All right, Woody, your question is, why do you say, oh my lord? <sighs> well, good question, Jacob. I say, oh my lord, because it's probably pretty much my big reaction when I'm, like, surprised or scared, like, oh my lord, Yoshi ate my Del Taco a big game. And he actually did that last week. Come on, you can't admit, it's pretty good. You don't have to steal man's food, Yoshi. Well, why can't you just, why can't you just give me a car? You don't even know how to drive. I play Mario Kart, what do you mean? <sighs> Excuse me. <laughs> okay, that fight's probably gonna go on for a while. But we do have another question, and it's actually for Jack. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. What is my question? The question is, why do you work as a manager at a store? Get a life. Well, if you like to know Jacob, I don't have a life because uh, I'm dead. There's no point in me living because I already lost Sally. I already lost Zero and everyone else in Halloween Town because uh, I am the Pumpkin King, Pumpkin King and I am a skeleton. So, yeah, I don't have a life, so I can't get one. <gasps> What's this? What's this? Another store product. Oh, okay. Alright, guys. His last question is for me. And he says, Will you do reaction vids? If you can do, if you do, can you react to when my Among Us 10? That is a pretty great question. I don't know if I will ever do reaction videos. But if I do, maybe sometime in the future, I will sometime try to do a reaction video. And about your Among Us 10, sure, just um, just give me the link to the video and I'll check it out. Um, Mario? Yeah? Where's Jack? He found a store product in the last question. Oh. Alright, so his, this next question comes from Westbase 30s channel. And he says, awesome, thanks. And by the way, you know SMG4. Well, to answer your question, yes, I do know SMG4. And his vids are pretty awesome. They're hilarious, and I definitely love the, all the characters. You don't believe me? Alright, uh, here, I subscribe to him. Yeah, so I'm not lying. And I wonder how it will turn out um, in future videos, because they are hilarious. I kind of wonder what kind of arc he's going to do this time. So, yeah. Alright. Super Kiki 11 asks, What made you do starting a YouTube channel? That's a really great question. What made me want to start a channel was that I was literally inspired by, like, those older plush tubers. Like, I know he's not a plush tuber, but I was inspired by SMG4. Because I realized that how much the videos are so hilarious and all those characters act stupid. So I decided that maybe I should make a, some of my few characters stupid because my inspiration by them. But other besides that, I was obviously inspired by those Mario plush tubers. And yeah, like, you know, the cute Mario Bros, SML, classic one. But I also was inspired by this guy, awesome guy named Monado Strife. So a lot of you guys know him, you guys subscribe to him, so yeah. That was one of my inspirations. So you can thank him for that. I was also inspired by many other YouTubers, but yeah, those are pretty much my top ones. So. Okay, I don't know how to say this YouTube um, channel correctly, but I think it's called Daniel Barra Two the Second, I guess. And he asks, "What's your favorite cartoon?" Um, honestly, I don't know what you mean by that because um, I mean, of course, I watched cartoons when I was little, but and I sometimes still watch them today on HBO Max. 
But if we're talking about like um, Cartoon Network, I guess you could say like regular show because that show was amazing. I love it and I still watch it today. Like I cannot stop watching it. It's hilarious. And I guess you can say that's pretty much one of my big inspirations based on a cartoon. That's where I get all the ideas from the characters. And that's why I have this whole entire cast. So yeah. Alright. We're moving on to our last question of the Q&A. Alright. Donkey Kong Dudes is our last one. And yes, I sometimes comment with him. Because he has so many questions about Among Us Plush version. He literally won't stop asking me about them. But it is a Q&A after all, so of course I will answer his questions, even though he still sometimes gets on my nerves. Alright. He has about two questions. And it says, his first question is for Goku. Alright, I have another question. What is it? Alright, your question is, why did you sacrifice yourself to save Kirby even though you still died? I mean, come on, man. I didn't know he was going to die. I thought he was going to win the game for all of us because there was only Mario, Link, Ludwig, and Junior. Uh, actually, no, not Junior. Uh, yeah, Sonic. You forgot about me? Sorry. Anyways, yeah, like, I mean, you can't blame me on that. I just did what I had to. And, by the way, it's pretty sad because now he's dead. Yeah. Right. Alright, to end off the Q&A, he has one more question, and it's for me. He asks, is England Girl actually dead because of dying two times in Among Us 6? Alright, look man, I'm not gonna be rude, but I did say this already back at the ending of Among Us 6. So pay attention, I'm going to say this one time. Shadow explained to Mario, when someone with a weak spirit power plays and loses the game, the, their soul leaves their body, meaning they're actually dead. For example, Kirby lost in num game number 3 and game number 6. So yeah, he's actually dead in the series. He's not dead in the, my main series or the channel. England Girl died in 5 and 6, so she's no longer here anymore. But still, she's still in the main series, so don't think about me that. So yes, Inkling Girl is actually dead. I don't want you an asking me any more questions about this. Like, you're a cool dude. It's just I get really annoyed when I always have to answer questions about this. When you literally just watch the video. Like, dude, if you want your questions answered, just pay attention to the video. Do not come for me for qu answers. Just pay attention to the video so your answers will get answered. Like for example, I always ask Minato Strife questions about his Among Us, but after actually paying attention to it, now I don't have to ask him questions anymore because I'm actually paying attention to it. I even turn on the captions sometimes to understand. So please dude, if you have any other questions for my future Among Us plush videos, Please pay attention and pay attention to what I'm saying so all of your questions will be answered. Alright? Good. And to say that's the end of our QA. So I apologize if your question didn't make it in there. It was probably because um it's been a while since anyone asked me a question, so yeah. I was sent a question before and yeah, it's already it's only been four days, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the Q and A. Thank you for joining me, and um, I'll see you guys next time. And about that video I said about the short, where it's gonna be two special videos about Among Us Flesh version that's currently being working on. And um, if you guys are wondering, well, when will I do another Q and A? Great question. The next time I will do a Q&A is at 480 subscribers. Once we get to 480 subscribers, I will make another Q&A announcement. So you, people will have another chance to ask me some questions. Alright guys, so thanks for joining me again and I hope you guys will see you guys later. That's right. 
We're all grateful for you guys joining us in our Q&A session. Yes, please help us get to 480 subscribers if you want more. So yeah, see you guys later. Yeah! Oh.